Okay, so welcome back to my channel guys. Um, paalala ko lang uh, sa mga manunod po ng aking vlogs. Okay, if you like this video, okay, make a thumbs up. And then, um, oh, what do you call this? Make your comment down below para po doon sa mga next lesson na gusto ninyong i-tackle natin. And uh, sa mga nagsisend po ng mga messages sa messenger, okay, maraming maraming salamat. Um, gusto ko kayong tulungan, no? Kaya lang, uh, may online class si Ate Glo simula 7 o'clock hanggang uh, diretso na ano yan, hanggang 4 o'clock, no? Nakabreak lang ka ng 12. So, kaya isisingit natin ito for the grade 7. And uh, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa aking channel. Especially to my NSP family. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, so... We're now going to have this vlog for the grade 7 on their uh, English lesson. Okay? So, tingnan natin ha. Okay? So, now let's start. Okay? That, ganito lang yung gagawin nyo ha, Ikay, and all the grade 7 students. Dito, I have seen in your module, okay? Uh, you have there the uh, instruction. So, arrange the words in each item, okay? To form a sensible sentence. So, ibig sabihin... Itong mga words na narito doon sa inyong worksheet, okay? I-rearrange -re ninyo, okay? Kasi nga sabi niya, uh, fix me, I'm broken, okay? So, nandito tayo ngayon, mayora, sa ating uh, English challenge. <laughs> okay, so, kailangan natin i-arrange yung mga words, okay? And then, underline the verb, okay? So, it says there, underline the verb. O, maliwanag ha, i-underline natin ang verb. Use... Yung, under, yung verb na ginamit, i-underline natin, yung pagdiwang ginamit, no? And identify whether it is in active or passive voice. Okay? Write your answers on the space provided. So, ito yung space provided. Okay? For us to be able to determine whether it is active or passive voice, okay? Dito, sa inyong sentences, okay? Kailangan makita nyo muna, alam nyo muna, sino si subject, sino si action, action word, Okay? Kasi, if you're not going to determine who the, uh, what you call, who the subject is and what the verb is, malilito na kayo mga bata. Okay? So, sa nakita ko, para sa dating na mga grade 7 ko, talagang, even sa mga nanay, no, na nagre-request, talagang medyo mahirapan tayo. Pero, isa-isahin natin para maging madali para sa inyo. Okay? So, like this one. Sabi niya rito, read the novel the new student in one day. Okay. So, ito, ibig sabihin, from here, makikita ninyo dito, if we're going to form it in uh, active uh, voice, no? Gagawin natin dyan, okay? Tingnan muna ninyo, sino ba yung subject. Ayan, no? So, from here, ayan, no? nakita nyo, the new student. Ito yung inyong subject. Okay? So, from here, lagay natin siya dito. The new student. Okay? Ito yung inyong subject, ha? Ito yung inyong pinag-uusapan ang inyong paksa. Okay, read. Read the novel in one day. So, ibig sabihin, doon sa makikita ninyo na meron kayo dyan ang word, ayun o, oh, read the novel, the new student in one day. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nakaayos. Okay? Ngayon, aayusin nyo siya. Kaya meron kayong nakalagay dyan na formed sentence. Okay? Now, doon sa formed sentence, nin sentence ninyo, you have to determine which one is the subject? Sabi niya, the new student. Siya yung pinag-uusapan niya, okay? Red. Pag sinabi yung red, siya yung verb, okay? Verb, uh, read the novel in one day. Okay, yan. Okay, so from here, na-determine niyo alin ang subject. Ayun o, the new student, ha? Okay, maliwanag ha? Red, yun ang kanyang verb. So dito, sa inyo, sa inyong instruction, sabi niya, arrange the words in each item to form a sensible sentence. O, yan. Itong read the novel, the new student in one day, okay, inarrange natin. Ito ngayon yung kinalabasan. The new student read the novel in one day. Okay, sabi niya doon, underline the verb, the verb use. I-underline ang verb na ginamit, ayun no, read, di ba? And identify whether it is in active or passive voice. Okay? Now, dito. Ito yung form sentence ninyo. Siya ngayon ay nasa active voice. Okay? Now, atiglo. Paano namin malalaman atiglo na siya ay nasa active voice? Okay? Ganito yan. Malalaman ninyo kung siya ay nasa active voice kung ang pinag-uusapan ang uh, gumagawa ng action. Yun yung sinasabi natin. The 
the subject is the doer of the action. Ayan, katulad niyan, the student read. Ang estudyante ay nagbasa. Yun yun. Nakuha niyo? Kaya, active siya. Okay, dito naman. The way we live, internet changes. Okay, so yan, hindi, wala sa ayos yan, ha? Iaayos niyo yan. Okay, so ngayon, dito, ano ba ang pinag-uusapan natin dito? Ayun, no, internet. Sabi niya, ayan. Internet. Internet changes. Ayan. Internet changes the the way we live. Okay? Okay. So, dito, ano ba ang pinag-uusapan? Internet. Ano ang inyong verb? Ayun. Okay. So, dahil ang inyong subject ay internet at ang kanyang verb ay changes, so, ibig sabihin, siya ay nasa active voice. Ayan. Ayan. Kuha niyo, ha? So, kailangan... Sabi nga sa inyo, para maging madali sa inyo, i-determine nyo muna alin ang subject. So, from here, internet changes the way we live. Yung makikita nyo yung sentence doon, the way we live, internet changes, um, ano siya, uh, kailangan natin iayos, no? Okay, next. And then here, millions of lives by this global crisis, uh, crisis are affected. Okay, now, paano natin i-arrange -i ito? Okay? Tingnan natin dito, This global crisis, yun ang pinag-uusapan. Di ba? Okay. So, sabi niya, this global crisis, okay, this global crisis, uh, crisis, okay, ayun o, are affected. Uh, this global crisis, crisis are affected uh, millions of lives. Ay, baliktad, baliktad, sa dali, sa dali, ha? Pwede kasing ano eh, pwede kasing dito pinag-uusapan ang global crisis. Pwede rin namang millions of lives, di ba? Ayun pala, mas tama siya. Millions of lives are affected by this global crisis. Okay, so yun yung gamitin natin. Mas accurate siya, di ba? So dito, ayan oh. Millions of lives, okay? So ito yung ano, ito yung pinaka-subject niya. Millions of lives, okay, are affected. Ayan are affected, okay, by this global crisis. Ayun. Ganun ninyo ngayon siya i-arrange. Are affected by this global crisis. Okay, okay. And so on. So, dito, i-underline uh, ninyo ang are affected. Okay, nakuha nyo? So, millions of lives are affected. Ito ay nasa active voice. Okay. Okay, next. Tingnan natin ha. Burahin ko muna to para meron tayong space. Okay. So, ano, para noon, meron tayong magamit. Kasi na marami ang nag complain hindi nila alam. Even my own daughter, Ikay, she's complaining. Mama, mahirap. Noong una, hindi ko pinag-aralan. Akala ko naman, i-rearrange lang. Yung pala, we need to determine whether it is in active or passive voice. Okay, so, so number four, we have the uh, orientation, the school, orientation, the school before the opening of classes conducts. Okay, so, pinin nyo ito, ha? So, this is in your number four. So, you have there, uh, orientation, okay? Orientation, then the school, orientation, the school, before the opening of classes, okay? Before the opening of classes, okay, conducts. Okay, yan ah. Oh, so, how are you going to, how are you going to paraphrase it? Okay, so, ganito yan yan. Alin ba ang pinag-uusapan? Uh, huh? The school. Okay, the subject. Okay, ito yan. Ang subject niya ay ang school. The school conducts. Okay? The school conducts orientation. before the opening of classes. Nakuha nyo? Diba? Okay. So, ganun. Ganun ninyo i-arrange yung inyong sentence. The school conducts orientation before the opening of classes. So, alin ang pinag-uusapan natin? Ang subject natin ay ang school. Okay. What is the verb? Conducts. So, ano ngayon? Is it in active or passive voice? That is in active voice. Okay? Now, tingnan natin. Doon sa number... Sa so number 5 natin, we have there will not shatter, will not shatter. Okay. 
Number five, will not shatter. Okay? Will not shatter this pandemic our hopes, okay? This pandemic our hopes, okay? Okay, so dito tingnan natin. How are we going to how are we going to rearrange, no? So, pwede natin, kasi dito pwede mo kasing gawing subject ang our hopes, eh. Pwede mo rin gamitin subject ang this pandemic, okay? So, gawin natin ngayon dito. Our hopes, okay? Our hopes will be the subject. Alin ang inyong uh, verb? Uh, this pandemic, our hopes will not shatter this pandemic. Tama nga ba? Our hopes will not shatter this pandemic. Ah, hindi. Baliktad. Baliktad. Lagay natin, this pandemic, oo, oh, siya yung pinag-uusapan. Yan, ang galing ng aking mga coach. <laughs> this pandemic, naririnig ko. Gano'n na. Okay, this pandemic, yan, siya pala yung pinag-uusapan. This pandemic will not shatter our hope. Okay, itong pandemic na ito, ha? Okay, ay hindi makakasira sa ating mga sa ating pag-asa this pandemic okay will not shatter okay will not shatter our hope ayan okay so yan yan alin ang inyong subject this pandemic alin ang inyong verb will not shatter okay what uh, voice this is again in active voice okay bakit bakit active voice active law kasi nga Yung inyong subject, okay, is the doer of the action. Okay, so tatapusin ko muna ha. Para may titingnan natin, paano naman siya magiging, paano naman siya magiging passive. Okay, ganito yung nalimbawa. Tingnan natin. So dito sa isa natin, okay, kung halimbawa kasi magiging passive siya, ibig sabihin, babalik ta rin naman siya. Babalik ta rin naman siya mamaya. Okay, so tingnan na muna natin. Okay, so, so number six, uh, amidst crisis for frontliners and tiringly serve the country. Sabi niya, amidst the crisis, okay, so dito, ilagay natin, uh, amidst crisis, frontliners and tiringly serve the country. Okay, so dito, sa so number 16 nyo, for it to be active, okay, lalagay nyo ngayon dito, frontliners, kasi frontliners ang ating subject, okay? Frontliners, aha, uh -huh. Untiringly. Untiringly serve the country. Untiringly, okay, serve. Okay, and so on. Untiringly serve the country. So, frontliners, that is the subject. Untiringly serve, yun ang inyong uh, verb. Okay, and then here, entire stretch the crew of the highway pay. Okay, dito naman, so number 7 natin. The crew. So, siya naman yung ating Siya naman yung ating subject, okay? The crew, aha, uh -huh, paved. Ayan, paved naman yung inyong verb. Okay? Thank you so much!